Hey, Architect Nation, Enix Sears here. And in this video, you're gonna discover the architect marketing lesson that we can learn from the new Endgame, Avengers Endgame movie. Now, when you're watching this video or listening to this particular podcast, it may not be any time close to the time that Avengers Endgame was released, but is this movie was just released a couple months ago and it's broken all records and people are loving it, people are raving about it. And at a recent marketing seminar that I was running with a group of architecture firm principals, we talked about the marketing and communication that these firms are developing to establish their preeminence in the market. And one mistake that I see architecture firms making a lot of times when they enter into this, this er arena of business development, this arena of marketing, this arena of client attraction, is that they're wearing their hat of perfection. So what do they do? They work on a website that continually gets updated for three years and they don't get the word out about the website until it just drags on and it's much too late. Or they do this marketing, they do like 10,000 different cool brochures, right? And no one ever hears about them, right? They share them with just a few people. Or if you're an architecture firm and maybe you've taken your marketing to the next level, maybe you're doing videos like I recommend, just like this little talking head video, something kind of informal like this, they're making maybe a video a month, but then they're not really promoting that. They're not getting the message out there to get it in front of their ideal clients, right? So here's the key. Take a look at the budget that they spent on this game, uh, this movie, Avengers Endgame. So it was about 300 million US dollars, right? 300 million US dollars. And I'd like you to guess what do you think, so that's to make the movie, to make the product, that's how much they spent. How much money do you think they spent promoting the movie? How much money would you guess they spent promoting the movie? Well, if you guess $300 million or more, you are pretty much right on the money. No pun intended. So here's the key. You should spend... 80% of your time in promotional activities. What do we mean by promotional activities? I also call these get visible activities. So I'm, I'm home right now, so I'm almost done with my walk. Thank you for coming on my walk, by the way. A lot of times I like to use my time walking to connect with you, right? So when we talk about this idea of promotion, right? Promotion, getting visible in the marketplace, getting your message out there, get, being seen by your ideal clients, you should spend 20% of your time creating the material, creating the educational content, creating the marketing assets, creating the social media posts, okay? 80% of your time should be spent promoting it, right? So if you create a blog post, right? Let's say that was one hour. You're gonna spend 20% more than that, maybe another four or five hours actually promoting that, putting it in the right groups where your ideal clients are hanging out, maybe even pitching that for an industry news publication, okay? This is the key. Right? Because too often we create, if we're doing active marketing in our firm, a lot of times what we're doing is we're spending a whole lot of time creating content and then very, very few people get to see it. Okay? I would have, what I would also have you consider is as you look at your firm and the services that you provide, right? think about that as the movie. So if you're doing a building or a project or even if you're producing work, like your firm is the movie. right? Your firm is the movie that got, that got made. Avengers Endgame. How much time and how much money are you spending promoting the movie? Right? I challenge you to think about every great product, every great brand that you know of, and look at how much time they spend promoting and advocating and evangelizing for that product and compare that to how much you evangelize for your firm. This is the secret to creating a lasting firm. Once you master this simple equation of communication, of promotion, you've unlocked a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful door. All right, so speaking of unlocking a door, I'm back at my house and I'm just gonna hop in the garage here. I'll be talking to you later. As always, Enix Sears, don't forget, carpe diem. Today is the day, today is the day. Bye for now.